Today we will be going over a torque up and breakaway of a basic application. First, let's go over the components. A drive bar and socket, an input ratchet and speed knob, a reaction stand, and our 1200 series digital torque multiplier, equipped with an anti-rotation cover capable of torquing in clockwise and counterclockwise directions by adjusting the pull. The reaction stand will vary depending on your application, however the same basic principles apply. In this case, we'll be using our blue bell reaction stand to tighten a nut onto a threaded rod. To set up this application, start by hand tightening the nut, then place the socket onto the nut. Fix the reaction stand onto the application. Secure the drive bar into the bottom of the multiplier. Be sure the drive bar is fully engaged before continuing. Place the wrench assembly onto the reaction stand. With the pawl in the neutral position, you will be able to freely rotate the multiplier aligning the reaction pins to their corresponding holes. Now that all the components are properly assembled, we can begin. Start by turning on the controller. After the startup message, toggle through the track, peak, and angle modes until peak is displayed. Select your unit of measure. In this case, we will be using foot-pounds. Even when zero is displayed, you should still press zero to assure for accurate measurement. Now you're ready to torque. Engage the pawl in the clockwise direction, and begin turning the speed knob or ratchet in the same way. Most applications, like this one, will be tightened in the clockwise direction and broken free in the counterclockwise direction. We're going to tighten this nut to 350 foot-pounds. The speed knob makes for easy turning during run-on and low forces, and as the forces become greater, a ratchet is then needed. Once target torque is achieved, place the paw back in the neutral position, and release all the force from the multiplier. Now we can remove the torque multiplier, the reaction stand, and the socket from the application. Tightening is now complete. Breakaway will be done in the same way as tightening, only in the opposite direction. Once again, place the socket onto the nut. Fix the reaction stand to your application, and with the drive bar secure to the bottom of the multiplier, place the wrench assembly onto the reaction stand. With the pawl in the neutral position, rotate the multiplier, aligning the reaction pins to their corresponding holes. Turn on the controller. Make sure the display is in peak mode. Check that you're using the proper units of measure then press the zero button to assure accurate measurement. Now, place the ratchet and the pawl into the counterclockwise direction. Keep ratcheting in the counterclockwise direction until the nut breaks free. A loud popping sound may occur when the nut finally breaks. Also, it is common for breakaway to exceed the initial torque by 10 to 15 percent after use in the field. And that is how you break away a basic application.